Yes, what are we saying, man? Tees on the Three Pointers TV. I'm still here outside the Emirates. End results, Arsenal 2 by a minute 2. I'm here back with Curtis once again, man. What are we saying, man? Come on. Interesting night. It wasn't quite what I expected, to be fair. To be fair, coming to the game, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I knew it was going to be a big ask. However, I thought we'd at least be able to get the job done. I did predict a 2 1 win to towards Arsenal. Uh, when I did see the original lineup, I was a bit nervous, especially like when I saw like the left back position and saw obviously Kivio starting that left back. Um, I was a little bit worried because I know they would be like would be susceptible, especially on the left hand side. Yeah. I would have preferved because I know we did. I'm sure we saw Tommy Asu the other day for some minutes. I would have liked to see Tommy Asu start left back mm. position and see Ben White invert from right back. Yeah. And in terms of the midfield. Uh, I understand like why Arteta went with Jorginho because if he was an experienced like Champions League veteran, but I think I would have preferred to see like Partey, Rice, and Odegaard in the midfield because Partey, man, I know that to be fair, he's you know up and down when it comes to fitness, but he'll be able to receive the ball, turn on a half turn, release it, spray the ball to Rice or Odegaard, etc. Saka, I see. What can I say? He's a star boy. I see. You know, pop, popped up. And I see people going to him say he doesn't score in the big games. I see. You know, open score sheet. That was a quality goal, wasn't quality it? Goal. Um, Martinelli, obviously, I thought he was all right. Obviously, back at the races and that. And I see, we got out of jail. We were very lucky today. To I think we were lucky today to escape because there was a time when I thought we was going to be finishing like two 0 two obviously two one down. And obviously. You know, Trossard, like, was it £20 million? Pounds? Was it, I think it was £20 million pounds you pay for this guy. Was it 25 I think it was, or was it 20 plus 7 million added, something like that. £25 million pound we paid for this guy. It was about 18 months ago, something like that. And, you know, come on, got us out of jail. Obviously, we can take it to their place. It's not going to be It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a very tough ass. I would have liked to, that's what I was hoping to finish, like, you know, 2-1 or 3-2 tonight. Because going away... It's going to be very tough. We're just very lucky that they don't have the away goal rule in Champions League anymore. But see, we, you know, we live for these nights. We can't complain because at the end of the day, we, you know, we wanted to be back playing regular football like every three, four days, competing in the Champions League and the Premier League. You know, when we come, to, when we moved to the Emirates, we were told we were coming here to compete with the likes of Bayern Munich and. You know, it's, it's been challenging. We've had some challenging times, man. Like, if you think back a few seasons ago, you know, we... Even even back to, like, last year, you know, the Sporting Lisbon game, you know, shattered our Europa League dreams, obviously, with, like... Was it Saliba last year? We, we lost Saliba and Tommy Yasu in the same game. And then I remember, like, four years ago when we had the Olympiacos game. But we need to just stay positive, stay behind the boys. Hopefully, we come back next week stronger. I think it's next, it's next Tuesday, Wednesday, we go away. So in the Champions League to obviously Bayern Munich is going to be a tough game hopefully we can get something there but it's not going to be easy but main, obviously now the main focus is obviously on the weekend we've got Aston Villa on Sunday it's a massive game you know let's hope A Liverpool drop points on the weekend and you know B we capitalise with another solid win but today Arteta you got it wrong I would have liked to see Tommy Esso at left back should have had Ben White inverting from the from the right back position and we should have seen Partey Partey Rice and Odegaard you know everyone I spoke to before the game was expecting Partey Rice and Odegaard in the midfield they were expecting Tommy Asset left back and Ben White inverting but look we managed to get a two-all draw um, we're still in it and this fingers crossed the boys get it over the line remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel shout out to Three Pointers TV shout out to Marty shout out to Tease shout out to Dubs oh, come on you gunners <laughs>